Hello, I'm Julia Donaldson and um, this is one of my most recent books. It's called The Woolly Bear Caterpillar. I got the idea for this book when I was on a nature expedition and we came across a moth, quite a big moth, which is called the elephant hawk moth, but it didn't look at all like an elephant. So I asked the nature expert why it was called that. And he said, oh, well, the caterpillar has a kind of long nose or which looks a bit like a trunk. So that set me thinking, you know, the way that caterpillars can look so different from the moths they turn into. And I asked um, the nature expert if there were any kind of quite plain caterpillars that would hatch out into very beautiful moths or the other way around, very gaudy, beautiful caterpillars that might hatch out into quite plain moths. And he said, yes, because I'd already got this idea for a story. So this nice um, man who's called Michael, um, he sent me some pictures of plain caterpillars that became beautiful moths and the other way around. Uh, because I had in mind this, it's a little bit of a Cinderella story about quite a plain caterpillar who meets some rather boastful, um, brightly coloured caterpillars. So I'll just read you a little bit near the beginning. The little caterpillar, she's a woolly bear caterpillar. She's brown and furry. She's looking for some dandelion leaves and she hears someone singing. On a leaf of a sycamore tree sat a caterpillar with very long yellow and orange hair. And this was her song. Look at me, look at me. I'm bonny and bright as can be. With my hair of bright gold, I'm a joy to behold the queen of the sycamore tree. Hello, what's your name? Asked the woolly bear caterpillar. I'm a sycamore caterpillar and I'm going to turn into a sycamore moth one day. Just think, if I'm so pretty now, I'll be absolutely gorgeous when I get my wings. I'm going to have wings too one day, said the woolly bear caterpillar. The sycamore caterpillar laughed. Yes, very plain ones, I imagine. Never mind, we can't all be beautiful. So the poor woolly bear caterpillar, she keeps meeting these moths that look, these caterpillars that look much more beautiful than her. But there is a, um, a surprise, well maybe it won't be so much of a surprise, um, at the end of the book. And um, there's actually another little book which the nice man Michael, Michael Blenko is called, wrote a more factual book which comes in the back of my book. Well I hope you'll keep your eyes peeled when you're out and about and see if you can find any caterpillars crawling about on leaves or perhaps especially if it's nighttime, some moths.